Hey everyone, so I wanted to make this a short video essay on why I think No Time to Die was the worst James Bond movie of all time. If you haven't seen the movie yet, there's going to be spoilers, so FYI, turn away now, or keep on watching. So first of all, just off the bat, the filmmakers want us to believe that James Bond's only option in the end was to commit suicide or just, just to like give up, right? and to look back at all the movies and all the situations that he's been in all the hopeless conditions and plots and he always manages to escape right that's that's kinda his defining character or one of his most defining characteristics and that's why we love him that's why we keep on watching these movies right the ending of No Time to Die feels like such a cheap out you know almost irresponsible lazy um, you know just you know someone thought hey I got this brilliant idea let's do it and I was like yeah that sounds so cool you know in line with like Logan or um, a lot of these other famous uh, characters that have had a good ending but let me explain why it's such a terrible ending um, so he's basically thinking that this virus that he has is irreparable it, you know and he'll never get rid of it and you know he might kill his you know the love of his life and his daughter based on the words of two people Q and the scientist I'm not even sure if the scientist actually said that but this is such an unknown virus to like everyone else in the world that you know how did they come up with that conclusion right away and even if they did right like they said it's nanobots like they have EMP devices you know he couldn't have had just zoom called you know and stayed in touch that way isolated quarantine so stupid right so that's why I think the movie was based more on them thinking this is how we're gonna end it let's try to get there right and not more so actually trying to just give us a fulfilling story. If they wanted to end his career, right, I, I think if they stuck with him just living and just being isolated and, you know, that's more devastating, right? Um, it kind of leaves a cliffhanger instead of like just ending it. The good parts about the movie, I think Leia Seydoux was an amazing character. I think the deepest Bond uh, uh, female lead that there ever was um, just because of her place in the story. Uh, Vesper Ava Green I think was really good but um, her whole point in the story was to kinda uh, you know mislead Bond so you know there was only a brief moment of time in the ending where it was a very genuine feeling I guess that they were trying to portray um, so that's diff that's a different um, <clears throat> Uh, you know, uh, character um, with uh, Madeline Swan, I think. Anyway, um, and also the action scenes were pretty good, almost like born type action scenes, but not not that crazy. You know, um, a lot of there was a lot of uh, tribute to the old James Bond films. Um, definitely a, a lot of good stuff. A lot of uh, references to the books as well although they kind of twisted it I really would have loved to see uh, them do a on her majesty's uh, secret service uh, storyline even if they did it you know kind of like Casino Royale almost almost just a very you know book to movie you know adaptation I think would have been really good instead they kind of took the phrases that he used and you know like we have all the time in the world and kind of kind of really just you know, twisted it, and I don't know, like, I like the tribute, but I don't like how they used it, right? I think that the movie was a very, like, was a missed opportunity to have such a great ending to a character. Um, you know, if they wanted to end it, he, may, maybe if he died fighting, right, to save their lives, instead he was like, you know, over the telephone, <laughs> you know? Uh, it's kind of kind of terrible right over the radio right it's, so it's just very disappointing it, it wasn't satisfying it wasn't fulfilling 
you know, like, I wouldn't have minded dying. Like, when I watched Logan, one of the best character endings that I've ever seen, you know, um, you know, how Professor X died and, and Logan died, you know, you know, they're, I don't know, I don't know what it is exactly, but they died fighting, you know, so that's, that's my biggest gripe. Um, I think another gripe I have is Blofeld, like, he, he was such a main villain in in the books and even earlier movies that he just had such a you know non-satisfying end right like Bond tried to kill him but backed off because he lost his cool and then like he actually had a virus because you know I don't know it's just just so very you know on, on paper, you know, it sounds great, but in actuality, it really isn't. So anyway, that's my short take on why it's the worst Bond film ever.